Hi ladies, Amanda from the Queen of Lean and I have our coach Cara here with us. Today we are going to take you through how to effectively do a high bar back squat. So this squat variation is where you go all the way down into a lower squat position. It's really good um, if you're wanting to target more through your quads. It's also working through your, your glutes and you know a great overall exercise. So let's take you through how to set that up. So um, you want to work with a squat rack. When you come into the squat rack you want to make sure that the bar height is set up it's about here. Sometimes I like to think the, the top of where your singlet would be or it is sternum height. So what Cara is going to do is come in and grab the bar shoulder width apart. You don't want to go too wide at this point. So grab in nice and tight and also make sure that your hands are even at this point. A lot of the time people try and set up their hands when, the, when they're on the other side of the bar. So if she comes under, this time for the high bar squat, she's going to set up across the top of her shoulder blades. So just at the top of that bone, she's going to pull the bar apart. So what you wanna do is grip really strong, pull your hands apart without sliding them. But what this action does is it makes sure that you've got um, your upper back muscles switched on and everything working so it sets up a really strong plate for the bar to go on, especially if you're going to lift something heavy that's really important. She's got her feet directly underneath the bar. So a lot of the time when people unrack, they do a split stance, which isn't great. You wanna make sure that you're side by side. And then she's going to engage through her core which is drawing in through her belly button, and then she's going to do a little bit of a brace through her abs, so also pushing out through her abs. I'll go into more detail in that towards the end of the clip. So she's going to just push through her feet, stand up straight, and then take a couple of steps back. So for this video, a lot of the time, um, what we find are clients have limited range of movement either through their ankles, hips or hamstrings. Something that can really help is elevating your heels a little bit. So you'll see that Cara's elevated um, her heels, it's about half an inch. So play around with that and see whether that gives you a better position. Um, I would say probably about 80 to 90% of people um, have limited range and they find it's easier when they elevate through their heels. So at the top position, she's going to engage through her abs, take a deep breath in. We want to initiate this move from her knees. It's more of a knee break squat. So she's going to go down, break from the knees, drive her knees out, and then aim is to get her glutes right down towards her heels, holding a strong position, how are you doing there? And then pushing up of the floor. Cool, so then with this, she wants to um, hold her breath for the entire squat. So she's gonna breathe at the top, abs go on, bend from the knees, she's still holding her breath, that's good, and then punch up really fast, good. And now she would re-breathe. So that's somewhere where a lot of people, um, you know, get that sequence a little bit mixed up. So let's do one more, deep breath in, she's pulling the bar apart, driving her knees forward, good strong position, good, and then drive up, beautiful. To rack the bar, she'll walk forward, make sure that she's got the bar on both sides of the rack, and then just lowering down. So a little bit um, of information on how to engage through your abs. So for a, whenever you're doing any type of, of lifting and you've got a heavier weight on your back, you wanna make sure that you're using your, your core effectively. So um, the analogy that I like to use is thinking about lifting through your pelvic floor and drawing in, but then you wanna push out and brace through your abs. So probably the best description um, I could have for that is if you had a belt on, you don't have to wear a weightlifting belt, but if you did have a belt, you would push out. Or if you think about what your abs would do if you had to push something really, really heavy. So if you went to push a car or something, I'm not sure whether you do that often, but um, if you went to push a car, you would feel that your abs push out sort of half a centimeter. That's the feeling that you wanna create and the tightness that you wanna create before you go down into your squat. Sometimes what I like to do is just shorten my abs as well. 
Um, so it's a really small crunching action and just making sure that you're also lifting through your pelvic floor. So that is the high bar back squat, one of our favorite, favorite exercises. Um, you know, it's great for toning through your legs, working through your glutes. It also targets um, a little bit of VMO as well. So for those of you um, who don't know what that is, it's just that little teardrop muscle just right next to your knee, which is great for knee stability. Um, um, but it builds glutes, burns body fat, and is an awesome exercise. So I hope you found this video very helpful, and we'll see you very soon.